investigation. There is a scramble underway to ensure D.C.'s traffic light system is protected from cyber attacks. It comes after a man claimed to have hacked into the system last year. D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford is live tonight with what's being done to protect drivers. Sam, why would someone hack a traffic light system? Well, just, I guess, to show that it could be done. But D.C. says that uh, it has a cybersecurity audit project that is about to get underway, not because of what that hacker from Argentina did when he came to a neighborhood of Capitol Hill, but because the city is always updating its security. Can the traffic lights of a big city be hacked? A New York Times article showed security researcher Cesar Serrano with his laptop saying he came to the Capitol Hill section of D.C. last year and with a laptop turned green lights red and red lights green to emphasize how vulnerable cities are to cyber attack. If Cesar said he did it, then I believe he did. Arlington's chief information security officer, David Jordan, and Serrato are both members of Secure Smart Cities, an organization warning cities to beware. It can be done. It certainly can be done. He showed us a map of just 10% of the cyber hacking going on. He said hacking a city's traffic system is not that sophisticated. For example, when a fire truck is rolling down the road and it wants to get a faster route to the uh, incident scene, it has the ability to turn lights green. Reaction today from workers and tourists in D.C.'s Capitol Hill area. It is a little scary to think yeah. that people can do that yeah. because what else can they do to us? I mean, if he had the ability to do it and was able to take over a city this big, I think it's a huge concern. And there's the matter if he can turn green to red, can he make all green, causing cross traffic to collide? The thought is now most signals are hardwired to prevent that. Many of the uh, major intersections are still using older technology, which is hardwired, and it prevents that uh, physical connection to take place. DC's DDOT spokesman Keith St. Clair said that Serato's laptop would work on, on only 50 of DC's 650 intersections. And he said in no way could anyone turn all lights green because they're all protected against that. But Serato says even if they can't go turn everything green, turning them from red to green could cause traffic jams that would block traffic, prevent first responders from saving lives, and so it's something cities should be extremely concerned about. Reporting live from Capitol Hill, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News.